First Impressions Written by Lenorian This is a James Bond fanfiction featuring the soulmate goose of enforcement. Read for you by Kits in a Heart. Rating General Audiences. Summary. Her soulmate goose was a surprise. Not just because she had one, but because it was oddly quiet. Eve woke up and the goose was still there. Had been ever since Bond left on that last mission of his. She'd heard of the soulmate geese, of course. Troublesome beasts meant to drive you to your soulmate. Not everyone would have one, but the ones who did said they were positively terrifying, often biting their assigned case. The goose was mysteriously quiet. It followed her around and occasionally made a soft noise, asking for scraps from her lunch. She fed it, not wanting it to get angrier. Until a few days later, when M insisted on going out of the office to meet up with Bond at the end of his mission. She wanted to meet with her counterpart in the Chinese service. Money Penny was planning on staying behind, but when she mentioned that, the goose honked loudly. Eve poked her head out into the hall, but there was no one there. She continued giving her excuses, but the goose would not hear of it. I guess I'm going with you, she said. I'll start packing. The goose followed her home and was surprisingly adamant of what clothes to pack, which was oddly appreciated. If she was going to meet her mysterious soulmate during this trip, she would like to make a good first impression. She didn't really think her blue suit was her best outfit, but the goose was insistent. They boarded the plane, and she heard the whispers she was so very used to by now. Parents telling their children about a goose their best friend had, or the one obnoxious one they had seen while out shopping last month. The gate agent simply waved her through with a muttered, Good luck. The goose traveled in the back seat of the car until they got to the hotel where the meeting would take place. She checked in for herself and M before taking the lift up to her room. She passed a cute woman with a goose trailing behind her as well, playfully nipping at the towel hanging over one shoulder. The goose stopped for a moment and looked at her and Eve felt her breath hitch. But then the goose and the woman moved on. Eve would be lying if she said she wasn't disappointed. The woman had great arm muscles and was almost Eve's height. Plus, she had the look of a spy about her. It was in the walk. But the gaze had been quiet, so she simply continued to her room. She considered going to the pool herself, but a quick shower seemed more prudent. That way, she'd have time to check her email before the meeting. Naturally, the goose insisted she wear her suit to the meeting. She wasn't sure if she wanted her soulmate to be a random other traveler staying in the hotel or a Chinese agent. Dating across countries could get difficult, especially in this business. Eve walked into the meeting room, empty except for the hotel staff laying out some pitchers of water. She thanked them and started laying out the folders of Intel, as well as the small gifts of goodwill M had brought. Just like any other meeting. Until the door opened and her goose made the loudest noise she had ever heard. Like two trains about to collide. Both geese trumpeted their joy on bringing the soulmates together. Eve looked to the door and, to her surprise, saw the same woman she had seen from the lift. There was no doubt now that she was an agent. The other woman looked down at her goose then walked toward Eve. She held out a hand. It seems the beasts have spoken. I'm Wailin. Eve shook her head with a smile. Her grasp was firm but gentle. I'm Eve. Eve Moneypenny. Of course, James Bond suddenly said from the doorway. The two women who've nearly killed me are meant to be together. He threw himself down at the table. Retirement is looking better and better. The two women laughed at his displeasure. It seems we have a lot to talk about, Wai Lin said. 
Indeed we do. Drinks after the meeting? There's a poolside bar. My favorite. She didn't know how it would work, dating another spy across international borders, but if she knew one thing already about Wylin, it was that she was determined, and together they would make it work. The End If you liked this podfic reading and you would like to hear more by me, you can find the rest of my collection at archiveofourown.org slash users slash k-i-t-s-u-n-e underscore h-e-a-r-t. Please also leave a review for the authors themselves. You can find the work through a link on this story's post. Thank you.